when a person suffers cardiac arrest, the blood will not circulate and the heart stops to function. They stop breathing and lose consciousness. Without oxygen being passed from the lungs to the bloodstream and then pumped around the body by the heart, the person will suffer irreparable brain and other vital organ damage and will die within minutes. To avoid such a situation, one must be given immediate first aid attention. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or also called as CPR, is a first aid technique that can save lives in such situations if performed correctly. Before commencing CPR, the following basic life support steps must always be performed. 1. Check to make sure there is no further danger caused to the rescuer or the casualty. 2. Check for response. Try to wake the casualty. Scan the chest for movement. If the casualty is breathing normally, place him in the recovery position. Wait for medical attention to arrive and monitor the condition regularly. 3. If the casualty is not breathing normally, raise an alarm and call 105010 for emergency immediately. 4. Get an AED, automatic external defibrillator, as soon as possible if available or ask the ambulance to get one. 5. Meanwhile, check the carotid pulse for not more than 10 seconds. If you find the pulse, support the casualty with rescue breaths. If you cannot find the pulse within 10 seconds, commence CPR immediately. CPR is a combination of rescue breathing and chest impressions. It involves the compression of the heart between the breastbone and the backbone and supplying oxygen to the lungs by blowing into the casualty's mouth. Position yourself in a way that will allow you to apply vertical pressure during compressions. Visualize the center of the casualty's chest and place the palm of one hand on that point. Place the other palm on top of the first and interlock the fingers. Alternatively, you can also grasp around the wrist of the first hand. Either method is acceptable. Deliver 30 chest compressions at the rate of not less than 100 compressions per minute. Each compression should depress the chest 1.5 to 2 inches. After each compression, release the pressure completely, allowing the chest to recoil. After the 30 compressions, open the airway by lifting the chin and tilting the casualty's head backwards. Pinch the nostrils to close the nose and open the mouth with the help of the chin to give two rescue breaths. The two breaths should not take more than five seconds. Continue CPR until the casualty wakes up or advanced medical aid arrives. Defibrillation Remove the person's clothing and attach the two pads of the AED on the chest of the victim as instructed on the device. Once the pads are attached, do not touch the patient as the device analyzes the casualty's heart rhythm. If the AED monitor advises for a shock, clear the patient's vicinity and press the shock button as advised. Once the shock is delivered, recommence CPR. Continue CPR until the casualty regains consciousness or advanced medical aid arrives.